very happy! Do you have a favorite Christmas movie or even a favorite Christmas themed episode of a TV show you like to watch all the time? I do. In fact, the Merry Happy thing is a pull from one that I like to watch. So bonus points if you can figure it out and comment below. So Merry Christmas again. I am Brett Hetherington of Head First Studios and I want to share one particular favorite Christmas themed episode of a TV show that I like to watch every year. Now every year I consume roughly 40 hours of Christmas themed TV episodes to help me get into the Christmas mood. Yes, 40 hours. I don't know, maybe I'm nostalgic, but there are some of them that I grew up watching when I was a little kid that kind of bring a little bit of that Christmas joy back for me. In any event, a lot of these shows in portraying the Christmas spirit, they bring about the idea that we have hope at Christmas. And it always brings me back to the birth of Christ and the hope that that brings to us for life that extends beyond death and being saved from having to stay dead. Now I do have a handful of favorites like Smallville's Lexmas, Friends the One with the Holiday Armadillo, Community's Abed's Uncontrollable Christmas, Boy Meets World, Santa's Little Helpers, pretty much any Home Improvement Christmas episode. I like to say those ones for last because I love watching with my kids. They ask for those ones. The episode I want to focus in for this vlog is from Scrubs. The first season episode titled My Own Personal Jesus. If you don't know the characters, here's a brief rundown. JD very goofy medical intern. Elliot, the blonde, spazzed out medical intern. Carla, the Latina fiery nurse who also happens to be dating Turk, the very macho, very faith-filled surgical intern. And he's the one that this episode focuses around that I like to relate to. Now, Turk has a very deeply rooted faith in Christ. And at Christmas, he loves to get into it. He recites scripture. He's trying to bring his friends up. And during this episode, Turk has to deal with several things happening that hit his faith. And man, they're tough. Among them, his friends not believing in the concept of miracles. JD, I'm telling you, it was a miracle. It was not a miracle. Yes, it was a miracle. Dude. I kind of envy Turk to be that sure of something, to have that faith. Of course, that doesn't mean I don't love busting him about it. Okay, so you think God was responsible for his recovery. Uh -huh. That's fine. We all have our beliefs. I, for instance, carry around this tiny little Monopoly piece for good luck. Did you just compare my Lord and Savior to a tiny top hat? He did. I heard him, baby. Go get him. Oh, excuse me, Nurse Teresa. Have you ever read the Bible? I started it. But then I skipped to the end and it ruined it for me. That's it, the both of you to the window. Let's go. I'm going. Right now. See, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Matthew 2.10. Dude, that's just a big Christmas tree in Miller Park. And his night on call on Christmas Eve. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a drunk who drove into a tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two shattered skulls and a drunk who drove into a tree. Twelve beaten children, eleven drive by shooting, ten frozen homeless, nine amputations, eight burned victims, seven strangled shoppers, six random knifing, five suicides, four beaten wives, three ODs, two shattered skulls, and, and a drunk, drunk who drove into a tree. When a pregnant girl disappears from the hospital, and she's really in danger, and she's got to deliver right now, Turk, during a moment of introspection and reflection and just kind of wondering where his faith is up on the roof of the hospital has a flash of inspiration and he takes off oh cinnamon where you gonna run to cinnamon where 
Where you gonna run to? Where you gonna run to? All on that day. Please help me all on that day. He said, Give me pray in the Lord, Lord. Give me pray in the Lord, Lord. Give me pray in the Lord, Lord. Give me pray in the Lord, I love this episode because it features a real crisis of faith for Turk. And in the midst of all of this, losing his Christmas spirit, losing his faith, doubting his God, this crisis of faith is answered not by logic or by reasoning, but by simple faith. Simple? Not easy. Turk has an understanding of Christmas that is rooted deep in Christianity, and in the end, it is his faith, his roots, that are able to restore him and lift his spirits and bring him back into an authentic understanding of the meaning of Christmas. Have you ever dealt with a crisis of faith? Have you ever lost your excitement at Christmas and been unable to feel the joy of the season, as it were? I have. The last few years I've been largely numb at Christmas, and it's only been in the last little bit that I've been able to return to that sense of joy. If you got something to share, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Take advantage of this opportunity to share your struggles and share in the struggles of others. So play nice. I'm serious. So that's all I have for this week. Hopefully tomorrow morning is going to be fantastic for you, and not because you're getting the consumeristic end and aspect of this season and getting everything you want and getting depressed because you didn't get what you wanted, but because you're able to share it with someone else. You're able to share the joy and the hope for a brighter tomorrow that Christmas is supposed to represent and convey. So you keep watching, I'll keep telling stories, and as a bonus for making it this far in the vlog, I'm going to end this episode with the tag from that Scrubs episode that we've been talking about this whole time. Merry Christmas. How did you know she was here? I don't know, I just knew. So I guess Turk was right after all. Miracles do happen. I think you just have to be willing to look for them. Merry Christmas, guys. God bless us, everyone. Dude, you cannot be a bigger dork. <laughs> so lame. That was so <laughs> cheesy. Really? Because I felt like it was, was right. Hey, we don't.